I've always had a knack for capturing moments. Photography was more than a hobby. It was my silent confession to a world I felt deeply connected to yet curiously detached from. My lens was my truth, my way of freezing time, of holding on to the ephemeral beauty and fleeting sorrows of life. It all began on a mundane Thursday afternoon. The sun was a soft whisper behind the clouds, casting a gentle diffused light over the city. I decided to take a stroll through the old part of town, my camera slung over my shoulder. The streets were a haphazard collage of history and modernity, where century-old brick buildings brushed shoulders with sleek, glass-faced structures. As I walked, I snapped photos. A child's laughter as he chased pigeons, a couple lost in an embrace, a solitary old man feeding birds. Ordinary moments, yet each one precious and unique. It was not until later that evening, as I scrolled through the day's captures, that I noticed something peculiar. In a photo of a narrow cobblestone alley, there was a shadow. Not just any shadow, but the distinct outline of a person. I assumed it was a trick of the light, or perhaps someone who had unwittingly walked into my frame. But as days passed and I continued my photographic expeditions, the shadow persisted. Always in the background, always indistinct, yet unmistakably human. Each photo seemed to bring it closer, clearer. A chill ran down my spine, a premonition of something sinister lurking in the periphery of my reality. I tried to rationalize it. Perhaps it was a stalker, a trickster playing a long, elaborate prank. I changed my roots, took photos at different times, but the shadow followed, unrelenting, growing ever closer with each snapshot. The fear began to seep into my bones. I stopped going out, confined myself to the perceived safety of my home. But even there, I couldn't escape. I started seeing the shadow in the corners of my rooms, a fleeting glimpse, a momentary darkness that was gone when I turned to look. I was losing sleep, my mind a constant whirlpool of paranoia and dread. I decided to confront my fear. I set up my camera on a tripod, pointed it at where I frequently noticed the shadow, and used a timer to take a photo with me in the frame. The seconds ticked by, each one stretching into an eternity of anticipation. The camera clicked and I braced myself. The photo was chilling. There I was, standing in my living room, and behind me, the shadow. But it was no longer just a silhouette. It had features, a face, but not one of this world. Its eyes were dark voids, its smile a twisted, malevolent curve, and it was reaching towards me, its fingers inches from my shoulder. Panic seized me. This wasn't a prank, not a stalker. This was something otherworldly, something maleficent. The realization struck me with a terrifying clarity. The shadow was not in the photographs. It was in my life, feeding off my fear, drawing closer with each moment of terror. I abandoned my camera, my once cherished companion. I shunned all mirrors, all reflective surfaces. I lived in a world devoid of images, but the shadow was etched into my mind, an inescapable specter haunting every waking moment. Days blurred into nights, time lost all meaning. The shadow was always there, a constant presence lurking just out of sight. I could feel it, a cold, suffocating weight on my soul. In a last, desperate attempt for salvation, I decided to leave everything behind. I packed a bag in the deed of night and fled, driving aimlessly into the darkness, away from the city, away from the haunting shadow. But as the first rays of dawn broke through the night, I realized the futility of my escape. In the rearview mirror, I saw it. The shadow, sitting in the back seat, closer than it had ever been. I screamed, the sound tearing through the silent morning, but it was too late. The shadow was upon me, its darkness engulfing me, swallowing me whole into an abyss from which I knew there would be no return. And in that final moment, I understood the true horror of the shadow in the photograph. It was not just a figment of my imagination, not merely a sinister presence in my photos. It was a manifestation of my deepest fears, a dark reflection of my soul, and it had been with me all along.